Welcome everyone to this week's vlog on the 4th of October 2015. The moon is in the sign of Cancer and we are in the last quarter moon phase. Now I got great response to last week's announcement of doing a video series for the Pagan Wheel of the Year. And I also had a competition which I'm going to announce the winner of as soon as I pick the winner because I have all the entries here in a little bowl. Now I'm just going to put my hand in. <coughs> Let's see. Close my eyes. See who the winner is. Let's have a look. Oops. Paper's not cooperating. And the winner of last week's competition is Phyllis Brady. So Phyllis, if you contact me regarding um, getting your four free videos, um, the series hasn't begun yet. It begins on the 1st of November, which is Samhain and i'm going to work with the wheel and um, beginning with Samhain in my video series getting back to the old ways understanding the pagan wheel of the year or just the natural wheel of the year <clears throat> i'd like to talk about words and the word pagan and the word witch um pagan it means earth keeper it hasn't got any bad meaning behind it neither does witch the word witch actually means healer it's it's not a female or a male word in fact there are as many male witches as female witches and they really don't like being called wizards because in their mind that's an insult so when you start to begin the natural ways of life and you adopt a natural lifestyle it is for 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 myself and my family we view it as a pagan's path and whatever way you want to look at that if you don't like the word pagan maybe your brain needs to come to terms with that word or the word witch also because look back in your life and try and understand why you see those words as bad words because they're really not and once you understand them better you understand that the connection between us and the earth is our natural way of life and once we adopt that way of life we begin to understand how to bring things into our life that we need and how to let things go that we don't need and how to stop things happening and how to move yourself out of stuck energy and how to revitalize your energy how to change your energy all of these things i'm going to teach you during my video series which will be a 45 minute video once a week every week for 52 weeks so that we cover everything on the pagans wheel of the year i will be going into detail about the phases of the moon about working with the energies of different days about working with all kinds of guides about working with the elements about getting out in nature and getting connected again because that's so important as i'm always talking about i've almost been doing my sunday vlogs for a year and thank you all who watched i really appreciate everyone who's been watching my series and encouraging me and also it has led me to decide to do the pagan series on video because i'm getting such great success with the sunday vlogs now there is a small price it's five euros a week which i think you will definitely get your money's worth from the stuff I will be teaching. Now, I won't be providing anything. 
I will be giving links to different places that you can source different things that you might need over the series but um, I will not be able to supply anything unless it's specifically ordered from me for a specific reason um, so just to let you know that when I will be telling you you'll need certain items I'll also put up suggestive links to different places that you can buy these things but you can also self source anything as well so it can be as flexible as you like so um, getting back to today's energy and we're in the last quarter moon phase um, I know lots of you saw the full moon eclipse last Monday morning and absolutely delighted for you all um, we had such amazing pictures been watching them all week I've even been watching videos it, we were really blessed to actually get such an amazing night it was so clear and it definitely was felt the energy of the moon eclipsing eclipsing was really felt on a very deep level for for all of us um here in my home and for many of you i've spoken to since you're all feeling fairly different or your energy might feel a little bit unusual at the moment and this is perfectly normal after an eclipse um, we do all change on an energy level and it is something that we have to allow and get used to within our body and understanding why this is happening does really help that's another part of the pagan path I will cover understanding the solar system and why when certain things happen that it changes the energy and different things can happen as a result of that so I'll be adding that in uh, on a regular basis so that you have an all-round understanding not just of the earthly realms but also the spiritual realm realms and on every level understanding the path that you wish to be on or that you would like to learn more about so I've put an event on my main page on Facebook. I will attach that event on my YouTube video and to all the other links I post. So if anybody's interested, please do add yourself to the event. And over the next few weeks, I'll be popping in with some information about different things I'll be teaching over the year. So I'm hoping you all have a lovely day today. As the moon is in Cancer, it's a perfect day for a family gathering to feel more love and happiness in your life because Cancer is all about family and all about understanding our depth of emotion and why we feel so deeply. It's a beautiful sign. My ascending sign is Cancer. My One of my children is Cancerian, a beautiful child. All my children are beautiful, um, but the Cancerian child, really very sensitive, wonderful children, uh, wonderful adults, all around good people. And that's the energy it promotes when the moon is in Cancer. And Cancer brings forward the need to reconnect with your loved ones, to feel deeply and to bring happiness within by being grateful for this wonderful life that you have. Try and forget all the hardships that are in your life and know that having a roof over your head, a bed to sleep in and a full belly at night is more than what most people get in certain places in the world at the moment there is such an enormous need for more compassion more love more support and we really need to get back to our heart center and when the moon is in cancer she certainly does teach us how to do that so the last thing I want to talk to you today is World Animal Day it's been around for a long time and I want you to really understand that 
the souls within animals, all creatures, are much like our own souls and that on a soul level we're really all the same. We're all interweaved, interconnected in this beautiful wheel of life and we need to do more to help those without a voice. So if you see anyone being cruel to animals or if you're helping out in animal shelters in any way or doing whatever you can in any way, keep doing it. Keep feeding the wild birds. Keep rallying for new laws to protect animals. Keep their voices heard because we are the only ones that can do that for them. And they do so much for us and they give us unconditional love and they are so supportive and wonderful beings. I highly recommend getting a pet if you've never had one, but do maybe investigate how much time and effort you'd have to put into it. So I am an advocate of having pets, but also making sure that they're looked after and understanding the, the amount of work that you have to put in. So if you're someone who's very busy, maybe the best thing you can do is get a wild bird feeder in your garden and that way you get to see wonderful animals every day and you're helping them you're helping them in their life by feeding them and that's such a beautiful thing to do so i'll leave you all there today wishing you a fabulous sunday lots of happiness and love in your life brightest blessings and much love and as usual we'll have a minute's meditation which will help you all bring love into your body peace and healing brightest blessings and much love everyone Thank you.